What's going on, YouTube? I just wanted. To... What's going on, YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how you can add a background to your Excel sheet. So to do this, you can go to Page Layout. Then, as you can see, I have a background up, and so I'm going to click Delete Backgrounds. And then now, as you can see, under Page Setup, there's an icon that says Background. So we're going to click that. And then after you do that, this box opens up. So you can insert a background from a file on your computer. You can use Bing Image Search, or you can do it from OneDrive. Now for this example, I'm going to use Bing. So you can either just search and see what Bing comes up with, or you can just click the little search icon right here, which is what I like to do personally, because whenever you click the search icon, as you can see, it suggests potential backgrounds that would tend to work pretty good for Excel. So to, so to do this, I'm going to click on Books, for example. And it defaults to having Creative Commons selected. So this is beneficial because it will only show books, uh, images that fall under the Creative Commons license, which makes it to where you be able to mitigate the risk of you accidentally using a copyrighted image. But if copyright doesn't matter, you can unselect that box. And as you can see, there's a lot more images available for you to select. Um, and so I'm going to have Creative Commons only selected right here. And also note this filter. So whenever you're selecting an image, be mindful of what you want people to see. In the sense that, if they, in the, sense that the, the image size itself is an important consideration whenever you are looking at the whenever you are looking at the image you want to select. So if you're, once you show a small range of data, then do small, extra large, do extra large type of image, you whatever will be best. Also the layout. So if your data is really really long, maybe do a tall image. Um, if it's square, do it square. Um, so, and as you can see, there are just different options as well. So color, um, whatever, you know, it helps you filter to see what works best for you. So for this example, I'm just kind of kind of randomly select an image right here. As you can see, it's a very large image that will work um, for, mo for many cases. But, and as you can see, though, the image does repeat itself until the entire space is filled. So, is an additional note, as you can see, whenever you're zoomed in right here, one thing that makes this look a little bit ugly is you can see the grid lines are still showing. To make it where these grid lines will not show, you can go to view. You can just, uh, under the show, you, you can unselect grid lines. And then you can do headings and formula as well to make it to where only the image will show. Um, and your Excel sheet can look a little bit more fresh and just a little bit less like Excel. So I'm gonna, I like to have the formula bar and the heading shown personally. So I'm going to have those two aspects shown right here. So, an important note, however, too, is that this is great. I was going to add a background, but an issue can arise because whenever you go to print this, the background won't show. So, as a workaround, we are going to go to page layout. We are going to do delete backgrounds to get rid of the backgrounds, and we're and, and going to use a workaround to make it to where the image will show, um, and also so you can have more customization as to where the background are actually show. We're going to go to insert, illustration, shapes and we're going to pick whatever shape you want let's just say rectangle for example i'm going to do this right here and as you can see now we have a rectangle we're going to hover over the rectangle and we're going to right click we're going to go and after we right click on we're going to go to the bottom of this list we're going to go to format shape and then we are going to go to fill you're going to go to picture or texture fill right here. As you can see, this option shows up, and is, I had it, already had an image loaded, um, so it defaults to that. But you can add an image by doing insert under picture source, and there are different areas that you can get the image from as well. You can get the image from a file, from a stock image, an online picture, or just from an icon. Um, for this example, we're going to use an online picture, kind of as before, and after clicking that you know the same screen that had the image possibilities shows so for this example i'm going to do coffee coffee just kind of for fun and how about this happy coffee right here i'm going to go to insert and as you can see one of the really cool things about this method is that if you use instead of doing the general background if you do the shape the image automatically fills the shape and it's not repeating itself and you can easily customize and see 
what you is it customized and see the size of image so you can have a lot of customization um, to make sure it just fits over your data range where you're trying to display very well. Now one thing to keep in mind, note in mind too is that you're going to want to adjust the transparency. As you can see right now the transparency is at 0%. So I type into it, you know, I mean you're not seeing anything. Right? I'm going to go to that. I'm going to go to transparency. I'm going to increase the transparency call it this is kind of a random number but it's just kind of to get the point across to 84 percent so when i type in cool right here as you can see now i can see the text and do the backgrounds and whenever you go to print because it's an image it will show um so as you can see it is a note you have to you kind of mouse over to get underneath the image but so with that being said I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful, and I hope that it will help you make your Excel sheets look a little bit more awesome. And please like, subscribe, and comment. Every like, subscribe, and comment is extremely useful. And also in the description, there are some links um, for like for, so, so you can sign so you can sign up to get free stock. You can also thank you for watching.